Hey YouTube, welcome to the Group and Piper channel. This is Cody. Uh, today I received in the mail my Cornell and Deal small batch San Sepulcro. San Sepulcro. I don't know. But uh, this is the only tin I got. Packed me a bowl, tin the rest to, to age. But just thought I'd come on here and give you my impressions of how it is fresh. And I have to admit, Beans 316, I did watch your video. So I'm kind of be I'm kind of looking out for that pepperiness. There's a nice clean flame. Okay. This is very cigar-like. Retro Hell definitely gets pepperiness in the nose. There is a sweet, a sweetness to it. Like a, a little bit of a honey kind of like sweetness, a little bit. I'm gonna go out and fully admit it's a bit harsh. I'm sure after a few years of aging, we'll probably take a take that edge off. Definitely getting the dark fruity kind of Virginia flavor, but that uh, that dark fired. It's definitely there. Usually I'm not a fan of Dark Fired, but I'm uh, experimenting with it. So I have a can of old Dark Fired coming. That's that McBerrien HH Old Dark Fired. That's coming, so I'll definitely post a little bit of that once that arrives. Ooh, man, that retro hail is totally reminiscent of a cigar. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I had smoked a cigar for the first time in a while, and retro hailing is, you know, after smoking a pipe, uh, I just kind of did that, you know, on accident with the cigar, and whew, lights you up. This is a, it's got a kick for sure, but it's good. No added flavorings. This has Italian dark fired, sourced from the San Sepulcro region of Italy and North Carolina Red Virginias. 
I taste those Red Virginias. This is probably going to be super good. Aged. Thick smoke. But now I gotta wait. My newest cob finally got me a Dagner poker. Love this little thing. Peppery. Definitely is peppery. I'm thinking that those Red Virginias are going to really mellow it out in a while. Dark. Just use the red, the red Virginias. I'm sure that, that the browner tobaccos are the dark fired. Puffing on a little hard. You know, not too bad. It's it's hearty. It's bold. I could definitely taste the dark fire. I could definitely taste Virginia's peaking, but I'm pretty sure that the dark fires. That's the upfront. That's what I'm getting right off the bat. But uh, good stuff. Looking forward to it. All right, we're like halfway through the bowl. And I will say, it's very consistent. Flavors are starting to meld together a little more. I'm st starting to taste a little bit more of the Virginias, but the dark fire is still leading the way. I think my nose is now used to the pepperiness, so the retro isn't too bad. And, um, just finished dinner, getting a little bit of a nicotine hit. Just thought I'd share my thoughts with you guys. Um, until next time, keep your pipes clean and loaded, and we'll see you on the next one.